Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I'm gonna answer a question that was put to me. It's a long comment and question that was sent to me by somebody. I'm going to read part of it and edit it out and give my general comments. So he goes, uh, sorry for my English. So obviously English is not his first language. That's okay. Whatever your first language happens to be, your English is much better than my Chinese or my, um, whatever, Russian, right? So don't worry about that. He says, I will be grateful if you can help me. I am a second year student. I'm learning uh, Flutter. Flutter is a good technology to learn. I think it's got a strong future ahead of it. My general advice when it comes to learning stacks and technologies, don't get so caught up because once you know your fundamentals, whether in programming and development and so forth, if the particular stack you happen to be using falls out of favor, you'll just be able to pivot very quickly and learn something new. So don't be so concerned about which stack you are learning. First point of advice. So let me just continue with his email here. My grades are awful. I'm not going to classes. My university is bad. My teachers are very bad and I'm the worse than all of them. Obviously, this guy is feeling a little bit down about his educa educational prospects. Essentially, he's dealing with a bunch of bad teachers, happens, bad courses. He's not motivated, so he doesn't go to class. It becomes a vicious circle where he doesn't go to class, so he doesn't learn, so his marks, uh, his marks suffer, et cetera, et cetera. We'll get to get into this a little bit more deeply. Why do I try so hard to get a diploma from a university that has no value? What you are going to find when it comes to university is that the value of the ed education is secondary relative to the reputation of the educational institution. So you may go to whatever school and you may have an amazing education there, but if the reputation of the school is so-so, and you see that a lot, that diploma from that institution, it's worth something. Diplomas are still worth something, but it wouldn't be worth as much as a, as a diploma from a much more well-known school, even if that well-known school had a worse actual program in terms of what you were taught. So the reason you go to university, especially when it comes to coding development, is just to get a diploma because some jobs, basically jobs working for very large organizations, very large companies, some of them, a lot of them in this case, demand that you have some sort of higher educational diploma. So the first thing you have to ask yourself when you're at school is whether or not you wanna go work for a large business. If your goal is to work for a small business, your goal is to start a business, your goal is to freelance, then the diploma is next to worthless in the long run. Now, what you are slowly seeing when you have billionaires like Elon Musk and others who say, we don't care if you went to university, we don't care what diploma you have, you just gotta show us that you got the ability, uh, you will see in time University degree, especially when it comes to technology, will become less and less important. Even Forbes, if you're not aware, Forbes is a business magazine that's still pretty influential. And they wrote a piece about the state of higher education in the US. They were looking at Harvard's and uh, Yale's and other Ivy League, other top of the top universities. So what they were saying in this Forbes article was that the Ivy League schools, Yale, Harvard's, et cetera, they were being forced to put out their curriculums online and they were charging far, far less, like 500 a year or something. And at the end of the four years, you would get a certificate, but you wouldn't get an official diploma, but you would get a certificate. And the people who were doing the online certificates were doing the exact same curriculum as the kids who were actually or the students who are actually going to the actual universities themselves in person, except for the fact that the people going in person to the universities are paying 30, 40, 50,000 a year versus $500 a year. And the Forbes article was saying that 
it was inevitable that people who were hiring graduates would realize that the people who got through the certification process at 500 a year, they were doing the same material and they were coming out with the same set of skills. And Forbes was saying that eventually uh, that was going to kill the university model because once employers start not differentiating between university graduates versus cert certification graduates, then the certifications were going to be what people were going to do. I don't know if they mentioned it in the article, but the real value of going to Harvard, Yale, MIT, et cetera, these other high-end universities, is just reputation. As I say, reputation is hugely important. So you go to Yale, you go to Harvard, still to this day is going to open up a lot of doors. Why? Because a lot of Yale and Harvard people, they come from wealthy families, are connected to wealthy families, so they go into business and they hire their friends and their buddies, and it's a big club in that regard. So the number one reason why I would want to go to a very prestigious school is just for gathering good contacts and friends and reputation. Now, of course, if you're getting into medicine or legal, law, etc., you have to go to university to get your diploma, otherwise you won't be able to practice. But when it comes to coding and technology, you don't need no degrees except for when, as I said, when you might want to go work for a larger business. But, but famously, as an example, Elon Musk recently said when they're hiring people at Tesla, they don't care if you have a degree or not. They don't even care if you have a high school diploma. That's what they said. Because they know, because they're actually uh, practical entrepreneurs, Elon Musk and other self-made billionaires, they understand that the degree does not indicate ability. I've seen a lot of people in university who were not very competent. I went to university, I wasn't in technology, it was psychology, but I could see a lot of the people there, they were just useless as well. So university is by no means a guarantee that people coming out of university are going to be any better than any random person who doesn't go to university. So again, to wrap it all this up, your choice of going to university has to do, A, if you want to get a job for a very large organization because certain, uh, certain companies may require that. But example, again, Google. I think it was Google and uh, some other big tech company. I forget which one, but Google, one of them. And they did, uh, a, they did an examination. And what they found is that employees that they hired from university versus employees that they hired had no university they found, Google found, not my opinion, Google, they found that the level of ability had nothing to do with whether or not they went to university. So this is Google who publicly stated this. So what does this tell you? That tells you that Google is not going to care very much whether or not you went to university. Now, I don't know what the official policy is today, but I can tell you when Google publicly releases those results, they are sending a message to the market about what's going on and how they feel. So to summarize, you go to university because you want to go work for larger corporations, although that's slowly changing. B, because you want to make contacts in industry, because especially if you go to uh, elite schools, right? Beyond that, if you want to be freelancing, start your own business, go work for small companies, the degree is not important. What's important is you build skills and reputation. I talk about how you do this in many of the videos, so I won't do it here. Let me continue with his, his email. He goes, why do I try so hard to get a diploma from a university that has no value? I think I addressed that. Why wake up in the morning blind to deal with teachers who do not respect their students, dealing with teachers who do not know how to teach lessons, that's very common, especially at the higher level of education. You see, for elementary and high school level, uh, technical schools, teachers actually, actually, actually have to go to learn how to become teachers. There's, a, there's skills, there's techniques, and there's talent as well. So chances are you're going to get better teaching at the younger grades, high school, uh, middle school, elementary school. Chances are you're going to get better teachers there than in university, because in university, a lot of professors don't have any teaching uh, training. Uh, they're there to do research and other things. The teaching is kind of secondary for them. So it's very common that a lot of teachers at the university levels are not really good teachers. When you get to university, it's really, it's up to you to do your thing. 
So thank God for online courses. He continues, moreover, there are unlimited resources on the internet. Of course, I'm really tired. My English is not advanced, but not too bad. Um, let me comment on that. As I said before, before I would learn a new stack, before I would learn a new language, before I would learn a new framework, once you got your fundamentals, learn to communicate really well, written, verbal, etc. English is the international language of business, so if, uh, unless you're from, like, I don't know, a country like China where there's tons of work in your country, where you would work in your language, learn English and learn it well because that's going to make the difference between whether you get the job or not and whether you advance as well. He says, my English is not advanced, but not too bad. I keep working every day. That's fantastic. It is much better soon. Yeah, just keep going. And I can almost completely understand many resources on the Internet. Is this piece of paper so important? Again, the piece of paper he's talking about is the degree. Is it important? I told you what the answer to that was just a few minutes ago. If I learned Flutter or something very well, if I did uh, nice projects, if my English advanced, if I watched computer engineering lessons online, would I need that piece of paper? You would not if you become freelancer, you go work for small businesses, and even for large companies. If you have a really nice portfolio, I talk about how to do that, you can get jobs at big businesses as well, especially if you got the tech and the communication skills down. Actually, I had one of my students told me that they did my course and then within uh, just my course, no degree. And within a couple of months, they went in there, went for a job and they beat somebody else to get the job who had a computer science degree. Better training with Studio Web. I had to plug, but it's true. Uh, so he continues. He says he can't study. He's, he's basically depressed because he sees that the teaching at the school is... The teacher, he doesn't like it. If you think you need that diploma because you're going to work for a larger company, then I would do is just whatever is taught in the class, find out what they want you to know, and then learn it online. Go do the test. Pass, get the degree. You don't have to have high marks. Just get enough so you can pass, and, and, and that's it. That's assuming that uh, the school is not expensive. If it's expensive, and uh, you're going to be in massive debt, then you may want to bail out of there. So there you go. Don't be depressed. I know it can be. This is common, not just with programming. Many other, um, uh, many other um, what's the word I'm looking for, degrees in university. Uh, teaching is not the greatest. It's up to you to really teach yourself. So just value, just check to see how valuable that certification is, that, what that degree is, depending on if you want to work for a large company and whether or not there's a lot of contacts to be made in university. I hope that helps. Don't get depressed. Not uncommon. You can do it. I think you're on the right track. Keep learning. Keep learning tech. Keep learning English. Start, start doing work. Take on freelance contracts. You're going to find yourself in a good position. A little bit every day, even 20 minutes a day, is better than not doing anything. All right, that's pretty much it. We'll talk soon.